Okay everyone, get into a ready positions of our battle stations. My Aunt Zelda is right. This is do or die, we're in the middle war. This war needs to end by US President versus Riverdale's principal Mr. Honey. We must stick together, we must stay together, we shall must defeat the Satan of this planet. Okay everyone, we're in the middle of the war of the fight of the US military and President Trump versus Riverdale, we really need to defeat the American threat in our country, not to mention that President Trump is a sexist, a racist, and a major hypocrite. Guys, just a heads up that my mom and Mad Dog will meet us at the east end of Greendale Riverdale border. Okay guys, this is it. This is going to be the end of the civil conflict wars. We are going to defeat the terrorists' military troops. Melody, Valerie, and Jellybane, you guys stay close as a background. Okay you guys, have a Chris, Gary, Tyrone, and I will take the Riverdales, and the Greendale residences down. I, Joseph Roosevelt Jackson, will defeat the Riverdales and Greendales down now. Okay Team Riverdale, are you ready to defeat President Trump's military troops? Okay everybody, after this battle, we have to find my mom, then we find Mad Dog, and we must find Team Greendale. Okay guys, my aunties, Ambrose, and my family must meet Team Riverdale. If we want to make it out alive, we must pull it together. Then, we take down Mr. Honey. Riverdale may be the scariest place in the United States, but we must defeat Team Detroit. Students of Stonewall Prep, since I've expelled our former student Jughead Jones due to plagiarism, and Jughead got us involved with Riverdale, we're going to kill Jughead, Betty, and the Riverdale students down. We will kill all Riverdale kids. Okay Holden honey, we're ready to kill those idiots, Detroit spy agents. Agents 4 through 14 would have killed both Riverdale and Grandale. Excellent Mr. Lodge, now when I count down from 5, I'll tell you to kill teams Riverdale and Greendale, so get into a ready positions, are you team Detroit and military troops ready? Hey Trista. I'm happy that you're out of the hospital. After you've been in the hospital for 6 months when you're in a coma after the bus crash. I love you so much. I may be bisexual, but you're my best boyfriend ever. But we need to continue to talk to your cousin Leanne in Riverdale. You should talk to your cousin like very soon. Because we're watching news. And it's also live in Riverdale. We need to continue to help Leanne to call her to make sure that she's okay. Everyone, the war is about to begin. I will contact to Hiram Lodge, the Vice President of the United States, then our United States President Donald Trump will call in the troops to destroy towns of Riverdale and Greendale. I shall start the countdown in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, kill them. Let me kill Joe Tate, then I'll kill Archie and his friends. Die, you fucking bastards. I will knock your ass down, Donna. Daddy, where's more ammo when I need for? Not a good time to talk, Jerry, right? Just keep shooting, we'll be judging later. But we need to take down the black hood. Come on, team, we need to. Let's kill these bullshit Detroit agents and military, military troops. You heard Harvey and Nick. Keep shooting these saving our people. Excellent, the whole town of Riverdale are killing each other, the war of racism is going through according to plan, both towns of Riverdale, Greendale, Northside, and Southside are going to get destroyed by both President Trump's troopers, and Detroit agents.
Good job men, now that all high school in the district of Greendale District, Riverdale Zone, both north side and south side zones are shut down all school events. And as for the Black Hood, I have declared you and officially promoting you as a new vice principal with me for the brand new era of me, which is the next school year, and as for Chick, I'm officially promoting you as a How fucking dare you? Not only you're a sexist bastard, but you're a racist. A fucking sexist racist bastard. Not only that as a vice principal as of myself, you are the worst yet horrific principal, my husband, the US vice president will charge you in your permanent record for the rest of your goddamn fucking life. And on top of that to congratulate to both the Black Hood and Holden Honey are both under arrest for both treason and terrorism over the past eight months. This will be going on a permanent record for the rest of your life. Oh, and before you get arrested, first of all, I'm just letting you know that all of your other Black Hood troops are half of them are now deceased, half of them are now dead, and half of them are under arrest for a life sentence for a third degree murder. This means, all of your troops are now defeated, and second of all, since you're the leader of the Black Hood, time to reveal that what's under your mask to see who you really are. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh my god. Dad, my own father. So you're the one who kept killing people in Riverdale. Why did you do this to me? Because I've been hiding of your evidence over the years, I'm the leader of the Black Hood, I've been working with President Trump, and I've been working with the Vice President Lodge, my sister Penelope Blossom, help my daughters Polly and Betty, and Betty, Terry's something that I should have told you a long time ago, Sheik Cooper, Sheik, is not your brother, and your so called, Uncle Charles, he's not your uncle, he's, your brother, your big brother, and Jughead, Charles is also your brother as well. Wait, what? Charles, is that true? Charles, you're joking, right? I'm really sorry you had to find out like this, Betty, your mother and dad should have told you a long time ago, like a really long time ago, I've wanted to protect you and Jughead, and as well Jughead's sister Jellyben, also FP's daughter. And Betty, as for Cheryl, I'm your cousin, and as well Cheryl's late twin brother and Betty's older sister's twin children Juniper and Atwood, which are my nephew and niece. Also as well, I'm their uncle, and Betty and Cheryl are their aunties of twins. Guys, look out behind you. And oh 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 And so ladies and gentlemen, former local high school principal Holden Honey has been fired, after he's been pronounced making a racist comment, also, it has been a racist principal, that's right, Honey is also a sexist principal, and we also have news, Hal Cooper, the father of Polly Cooper, and Betty Cooper, is the leader of the Black Hood, before his death, he was arrested for 95 years of life sentence for third degree murder, Cooper is now dead, yes. He's passed away. Also a sad news for the students of local high school who have lost their lives during the war of racism. These four students who have died during the massive shooting after the Black Hood who killed. Students of Riverdale Seaside, stay strong. You guys will get through this. You guys will recover soon. And as for the family of Moose Mason, Midge Clump, Benjamin, and Dilton, I'm really sorry for your losses of your sons and daughters. Stay strong. You'll get through this in the aftermath of racism war. God of Jesus Christ. Christ will heal your recovery after the losses of lives during and after the aftermath of Black Lives Matter. Don't forget to put hashtag justice for Moose, justice for Midge, justice for Benjamin, justice for Dilton. Let Riverdale heal.